Hey guys, me again with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be taking a look at another fan requested video or mock, I should say. This is number nine of the night, so bear with me. My voice is going to get super, super sore. So, as you know, guys, bear with me. This is the Lynx 50 caliber sniper rifle. This is by far one of the ugliest sniper rifles I have ever seen and that like no offense to y'all or anything like that if you like the looks but oh the Lynx as an actual sniper rifle the real life thing is so ugly I hate the looks of the Lynx and it was just like it was the worst copying down the looks into the rifle itself so I, I just ugh, hate the looks of the Lynx with that out of the way and said I'm gonna apologize for how long it took to get this model out um, the original Lynx model is scrapped. The original Lynx model was using a, basically like a trigger system hooked up to gears and levers so that when you pulled the trigger, your barrel and your, um, bolt would recoil back like the actual rifle itself, um, uh, because it does have a barrel that recoils back as well. Um, Basically, after a lot of experimentation and different types of things to do that, I couldn't do it, so I scrapped it entirely and I started from scratch, and this is the product that you're seeing that came from scratch. Um, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and open this up in LDD and take a look at it there. So here's what it looks like in LDD. Um, I like the, the kind of like a cotton candy uh, type of camouflage going on here. I didn't want to do the yellow camouflage here because there's a Lynx from Advanced Warfare that has a camouflage to it. And I don't like, um, I basically don't like Advanced Warfare anymore. Advanced Warfare was like good for a little bit, but now it's not really so good. So yeah, things like that basically. So here it is, the Lynx 50 caliber sniper rifle. This is Ugh, ugly. I, I hate the look of the links. Um, so we're going to start with the massively oversized six stud wide butt pad, which is definitely needed because the Lynx has some of the worst recoil I have ever seen a gun have. Actually, this is five stud wide, by the way. Um, curve. Curve. It's pretty standard now on my type of models. Um, the entire pink section that you're seeing here is five studs, and then our grip down here is three studs, and trigger guard is one stud. This blue section here is four studs. The top blue piece that you're seeing here is uh, three studs. This barrel shroud here is five studs, and then the barrel is eh, give or take three studs with the muzzle brake being four. And then this part down here is eh, give or take four, about, about four studs, maybe a little bit of three. So yeah. The bolt is right here. It's got this massive curve to it. It has the folding charging handle that sits alongside <coughs> the chamber here. This is basically the chamber. You unfold this, cock it, and then uh, let this go forward, and you um, fit around into the chamber. You can see the top of the magazine here. The black is the top of the magazine, and then you can see like the side of the wall of the, uh, the magwell. This is your giant 10 round magazine. Don't know why the magazine has to be this huge for 10 rounds when the Barrett 50 caliber magazine is 10 rounds and it's like half this size. This magazine is just ridiculously huge. This is the back part of your thumb hole. As you can see, this is your grip itself. Pretty basic grip. Nothing too fancy about it. It's got the screws in it. The only fancy parts up here where you have your uh, your kind of like the angle then your trigger guard which has a super weird it doesn't like complete all the way around it just stops for some reason I don't know why it just does and then the trigger itself and then part of the receiver here is that there's like there's gaps here and here obviously and then this little mound right here is like it kind of comes out of the receiver kind of like it makes a triangle here-ish type thing and then it kind of angles down here and angles down there. I tried my best with that. That was kind of hard to do. Um, 
tried it. It, yeah, it, yeah, it doesn't really add to it, but uh, then again, I hate the links anyway, so that's part of it. Um, not much detail on this side. This side's pretty plain. Not much going on. This giant black flap that you're seeing here is actually the dust cover. Yeah, that's a dust cover. It's absolutely ridiculous how big this dust cover is. This does flip down over top of the bolt system and whatnot um, to keep dust and crap out of the, uh, the bolt. And it does flip open when you charge the weapon, but it's ridiculously huge. I don't know why they made it this big or why half the port over here is open. It's just, this is a horrible design sniper rifle. If you ever look up videos of this uh, shooting, which I wonder if I could. Can I get on YouTube? No, of course not. So they still have things blocked on YouTube uh, on school computers, so I can't get on. If you ever look up people shooting the links, it has some of the worst recoil I have ever seen on a 50 caliber rifle. It's ridiculous how bad the recoil is in this thing. Shout out to Alan's Custom Lego. This is his uh, scope design. The only modification I made to it is this rear dial um, adjustment back here, sitting on a three stud wide uh, rail, three stud wide, and into a four stud wide receiver. This barrel shroud here, like I said, is five studs wide, and it's got uh, the necessary curving to it. Curve on both sides, curve on both sides. I don't know why this is here, but I saw it in the reference photo that I was using, so I had to build that in. I don't know what it's for. don't know why you would use it or anything like that. This here is a section of uh, rails to put like a bipod or something on, but I don't know why you'd uh, throw it way down there as well. Let's see if this text message is what I think it is. No, it's not. My friend Josh is going to play Zombies to Down on Black Ops 3, so waiting on that text message to come through. Then we have our barrel, which is made of tires, and then our big oversized muzzle brake. So that is the Lynx 50 BMG. Really ugly rifle. I don't like the looks of the Lynx at all. No offense to any of y'all if you like it or anything, but I myself just hate the looks of the Lynx. <gasps> Excuse me. If they did... This is the reference image that I used, by the way, because it was uh, it was readily available and it's got decent size to it, so it looks good. If they did the Advanced Warfare style links that had this giant section added down here, it would look just like a, a tad bit better. But even then, I just ugh, ugh, just looks so bad. There's also different styles of links. Like this is one of the earlier prototype links that I've built. Whereas like this here is the more updated um, style of links. It has a different bub pad on it. And then the front part of the receiver is redesigned as well. It's just, ugh, I, I don't like the links at all. It was a gigantic pain to do, especially with what I was trying to do with um, the different types of uh, barrel recoil mechs and things like that. That's the main reason it took so long and then the other reason is getting around to doing five stud wide guns or four stud wide and three stud wide and things like that. That's another big pain. Doing that type of stuff is really difficult with Legos especially when it's um, some things you know are just not easy to accomplish in five studs uh, worth of room. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to comment and subscribe for more videos similar to this one. I hope you like it. If not, I apologize. Maybe you can find someone who made a better links than I did. Um, this is definitely not the greatest of things that I've achieved and so on and so forth. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching.